everybody, Nathan Temperance here again with Samson Farms. Now, I know you only see me and Temperance in the videos, but uh, it really is. This is a family ordeal. We're just more or less the YouTube spokesmen for it. Uh, the rest of them are just too cute to put on the screen, so it's just, it just got stuck with us two. But anyway, we've got a couple little update videos, a couple little tinkering and Frankenstein invention stuff going on that we would like to take y'all along and share with you. Hope y'all enjoy. As always, still steadily hatching out quail. A bunch of these quails are going to get kicked out of here tonight. Ready for incubation and hatching tomorrow. Even more going on all the time, every week. I really enjoy quail. They're fun. Kind of cute, too. Another thing that we did this weekend, other than take care of these pigs all the time, I mean, man, are they a mess. But they're fun. We absolutely love them. Is that we took this gate here off and turned the hinges around so instead of opening to the inside like it used to, it now swings to the outside. Normally, would never do this, but we put in what I call the pork sally port. So, someone is able to get in here, feed the pigs, and I have lag bolted these to the pallets. Just have some decking boards here. Lag bolted these to it also. And then the corn feeder. And then we have the old corn feeder they beat up all the time. But this would gives a chance so somebody can come in here, pour feed to these two troughs, and then they, while the pigs are preoccupied with that, we can come in here and pour them corn. And then, of course, the water is set up on an automatic system, and we check it on a regular basis. Been getting a lot of goodies from work here recently since I've been helping out doing a lot of construction. And pretty much all this is cypress. And that's not, that's plywood, and that's a piece of cypress. And if anybody knows much about cypress, it is a soft wood, uh, but it is extremely rot resistant because it actually grows in water. So they are extremely handy to have for a lot of stuff, especially if you want to prop up something, you can put it down on the ground and then it just doesn't rot very good at all. Here in the quail pen, as we see, I've added a little box in the back right there. I have what I call a quail hide. And get in it, feel a little bit safer. Apparently, they like laying their eggs in there instead of putting them up here in the box like I would like. Uh, there are some five-week olds in here. And then the adults, which they're all basically the same size. Now, I've taken these old cat food cans and attach them to a two by four block because they would they used to would take them and just flip them over and send the grit and oyster shells everywhere but that has seemed to help it out a lot and of course you can see them they get in there and hide we clean this out every week twice a week or whatnot and just scrape all the their mess out uh, other than that they have automatic water system. Shares it with the chickens. We were gifted a bunch of excess fair chickens from people who showed at the fair and they didn't want to deal with all the extras so they brought them to us. So we have some chickens to process before too long. But it is what it is. Waste not, want not, right? Here we have Smokey, Temperance's pet bunny. He's not really big enough to get the job done with the big girls. And his cage used to be right here. And we moved it down here. I'm going to let you know why here in a little bit. And this is Fred. Real fr friendly rabbit. He is extremely friendly. He's a good guy. You can rub on him, love on him. 
move him around if need be. He's easy going. We got him last weekend. Now we have the girls here. Oh yeah. It's a big gill and another big girl. They're not so nice. They don't like being messed with too much. When we try to take them to Fred's cage. Also we have the roost. It's just propped up right now. The chickens don't even use this thing. It used to be behind the house over here so people couldn't see it and stuff, but the chickens don't even use it anymore. And here's some cages that we've been developing for the quail. And I got the spring clips in to keep them closed, but I'm gonna build a big rack to hold a bunch of these cages up on with a roof over it for outside. And when I move it all to be in a covered situation, then I can just build the racks and take the roofs off, which I think these are pretty neat. And this is really secure. And it works out really, really well. But I guess Temperance really wants to introduce the newest member of Samson Farms. Jingles. This is Jingles, the needy goat. I think she might have been a bottle baby because she is super sweet and super friendly. And if you're sitting out here with her, she'll crawl on your lap. And the reason why we had to move the rabbit cage because she would jump up on it and get out. Um, but because we had to move the rabbit cage is because she would jump up on it and get out. Yeah, she would jump up on the rabbit cage up there and then jump, put her feet on the gate and then just jump out. So we took the rabbit cage from here and moved it to here with the other rabbits. It just makes it a little bit more easier and logistical to get it all moved around. Well, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a short little update. Um, hope you like, subscribe, comment. I love comments. Um, and especially if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Anyway, everybody, God bless you. Have a great day.